back. If you need a little inspiration, the Connecticut Historical Society is the place to find it. Marcy Jones is there live this morning to show us around a brand new Inspire Center. Hey, Marcy, how you doing? I'm great. I have Chicago stuck in my head, though, because you're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. <laughs> yes, there it is. All right, I'm here with my new friend, Katarina. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited to be here just because being in this room, you feel more creative. There's yeah. lots of things to do, touch, experience, play with. Take us through how this all started. Yeah, absolutely. So we are in the Inspire Center at the Connecticut Historical Society, which is located at 1 Elizabeth Street in Hartford. And really, the goal of this space was to create a fun and innovative place for visitors of all ages to just come and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And it was actually inspired by Curtis Veter, a Connecticut inventor who used to live in the house that is now the Connecticut Historical Society. Oh, wow. So we wanted to encourage visitors to harness that inventive and innovative spirit. It's so full circle. It's, are some of these sketches? So these are sketches by an artist named Richard Welling. Okay. And so the goal of putting these on display was really to show that inventions can be anything from, you know, mm -hmm. a big piece of machinery to everyday items like shoes or a broom. We really wanted to show that any invention it is a It started worthwhile. somewhere. Exactly. They're all important. So interesting. All right. So you got, how long have you been open here? So we just opened this month and wow. we are open on weekends. And so we just kicked it off the first weekend of the Month. I love it. So we've seen some visitors. What is it like to watch them kind of come in the door, have the January blues, and then all of a sudden, bing, a light bulb goes off? It has been a it has been very exciting for me to see visitors in this space. We had some families in here the first weekend it was open, and you know, these two little boys from different families started playing together, and one of them turned to their dad and said, I like this kid, he's my friend. And that just made me, it was just made me so happy. Oh. It was very wholesome, and they were really just having a great time and embracing the space, and that's exactly what we wanted when we yes. created this space. Oh, I love that it also inspires friendship. Yes. That is so sweet. <laughs> okay, so I know that you have a few different mm -hmm. uh, nooks, let's say, within the Inspire Center, so let's take a little tour and see what we have. Yeah, so behind me, you see this giant chalkboard wall, right? and so it's really visitors can draw directly on the wall. It can either be like a blueprint for mm -hmm. what they're going to invent or anything they want. They can okay. also draw right on the tables, yeah. um, which is, of course, very I exciting. Already have. Exactly. The I've two places. Got to the crayon. The Don't two places you're told not to draw on a wall and a table, and here we are. I love it. <laughs> Excellent. On this wall, we have STEM related activities. So we have a gear wall here that they can play with. We have some tangrams. This is a roller coaster activity. So oh, you cool. put gears on it, and it kind of moves down into the buckets. Right. Very fun. Excellent. And then down this way, we have a book nook. So these books are all inspired by shapes, inventions. A lot of them are about kids and inventing or kids really trying their best to invent something and maybe it doesn't go as planned but they just right. keep trying and they try new things so that's really the goal with this space over here is it's sort of a quiet space in case people feel like maybe I'm not ready to create yet right. and I want to read and kind of have time to myself that's what this is for um, and then over here we have an exhibit case so these are objects from the CHS collection and they change out monthly and these are the inspiration for what families can create. Yeah. So these objects are accompanied by a very open-ended prompt mm -hmm. that is designed to sort of guide the visitors, but without too much direction, because we really want to keep it open-ended and free-flowing to encourage that problem-solving and individuality. Yes. And I love the sign that says, curious what these objects feel like, and then you can touch on the side so that, you know, we're not... We're not ruining yeah. the antiques, but we're still getting that hands-on yes, experience. Yes, exactly, because who, you know, you look at something, you want to touch it, you want to know what it feels like, and of so course. we wanted to provide that opportunity for people, because touch is also a really important way to be inspired in what you want to yes. create. Now, I see some arts and crafts on the wall, <laughs> yes. too. Is that something that goes on here? Yeah, so this is the wall where people can display what they have ah, created. Yes. So all of these were created either by adults or children who have enjoyed the space, and and this is what they felt inspired to create. Oh my gosh. Well, I see a little friendship bracelet here yes. made out of pipe cleaners. <laughs> I'm going to have to make some for our friends back in the studio, Nicole and Scott.
Expect a little extra bling today because I'm oh, feeling very amazing, high. Marcy. I, and don't forget to check out the Scott Haney and Kara Sundland exhibit that they have there at the Connecticut Historical Society. Really? It's, a, it's an exhibit about I'm bicycles. I'm going to see a sneak peek of that video. I can't wait. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Oh All right. We'll see you in a little bit, Marcy. Hey, did you